Wow, check this out. We're here at Candy Haven, owned and operated by Mike and Jane Boyle for the past 25 years. And this place is sweet. Uh, my name is Julia Canavera, and I am a cake and candy artist here at Candy Haven. Candy Haven makes 300 to 400 cakes per week. Artists at Candy Haven love a challenge. Like we love um, anything that we've never done before, um, um, things we've never seen, anything that we can um, try to recreate. Um, we've done roulette tables. That was our most recent one. Um, I just did a car shade cake, which was really fun, and um, actually it was all done in icing, which is um, kind of rare because most of the time cakes that you see, especially magazines, they're fondant covered and we take pride in the fact that we cover all our cakes in icing because most people don't like fondant. So to do something like that only in icing is um, kind of a remarkable feat. So tell us what we're going to be making today. Today we're going to make chocolate dip strawberries. Sounds so good and I hear it's one of your best sellers. It is. We sell over 2,000 a week. Wow. Yeah. Well, I see this huge chunk of chocolate over here. Is yes. this the chocolate that you use? Yes, it's premium chocolate. It's very wow. high quality. Look at that. Yeah. That's gorgeous. So what's the big difference between store-bought chocolate and then this premium guitar chocolate? Well, this is real milk chocolate. Um, grocery store chocolates actually have added palm oils. It's like confectionery. Um, so this is high quality and it's mm -hmm. going to set up so much better. So this chocolate is actually going to melt to the right consistency, right? Yes, um, it's chocolate's very fickle, and so we like to have really good quality chocolate like this, so it gets at the perfect temperature and it gets glossy and pretty, um, just the way that we want it to be. So you can actually buy the premium guitar chocolate here if you wanted to do it at home? Yes, you actually can. Well, let's get to it. Let's get started on these beautiful okay. strawberries. Okay. Um, First thing we want to do is break up the chocolate because you want it to be in small pieces okay. in order for it to melt at a good temperature. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a nice big chunk of <laughs> that guitar is a big chunk of chocolate. chocolate. We have a sharp blade, and you basically just want to get in on it and. So you're almost shaving it here. I see these bigger chunks, but you want to shave it really fine. Yes. Okay. You can actually make it warm with your hands and it'll be easier for you to shave. Well, can I give it a try? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. okay. All right, so you've warmed it up for me. Well, I can already smell this chocolate. It smells so good. These are gonna be delicious. I can't wait. So if the viewers and myself are making this at home, tell us the right way to melt this chocolate. The best way to heat up chocolate is to put it in the microwave and then do about 30 second intervals. Um, every time take it out and stir it really well because you don't want the bottom to burn and you want it to get heated consistently. Um, it'll slowly melt. Um, you might not see it right away, but it will. And once you get it to the nice liquidy consistency, um, you want to make sure you um, have it at the perfect temperature because anything that's too hot will make it bloom. Anything that's too low won't set up correctly. So um, the correct temperature is 89 degrees. And you can check with a, th a candy thermometer and you can buy these um, probably like a lo local grocery store, things like that. So after you've heated it in the microwave, you want it to get to 89 degrees. And then what's the next step after that? Um, you'll put in the shaved chocolate. Adding the shaved chocolate will bring the t degrees down mm -hmm. and you want to get it to about 87. And that's like the perfect temperature to make it glossy and pretty like we have it here. These strawberries look so juicy and red. It looks like you really make sure you have the best quality fruit as well. We do, um, and make sure that it's always fresh and red and juicy, like we said. And now we're gonna dip strawberries. Good. Um, just make sure that your strawberries dry because the chocolate won't stick if it's not dry. And just shake off the excess. Yeah. And we like to dip ours about three-fourths of the way up because the red is beautiful. Mm -hmm against their dark color. And that's how we dip strawberries. Now I'm gonna give it a try. Let's pick out a beautiful strawberry. And then you just want to, you said three quarters of the way, is that right? Yeah, and actually, yeah, turn oh, yeah. it this way. Okay. I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> okay, strawberry number two. This one's a little bigger. I think it's gonna be a little easier for me. Oh my word. Yeah, okay. you're doing good. Now, 
you want to just there you go. get there the you go. excess and off just, like, a little. shake it a little. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then, like, against the side. Just to yeah. get that last bit off. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <gasps> Ta-da! This is going to be so good. I'm going to put it over here to dry with the others. Wow. Those are gorgeous. So now for the finishing touch, you said you wanted to drizzle these with white chocolate. Yes, we love great. to give a little extra touch to our okay. strawberries. So, um, just get a little spatula and then you like to... Just like that. That's pretty. So now I'm going to go back to the one that I dipped. This one isn't quite as pretty as the others. <laughs> But we're gonna jazz it up here with a little white chocolate. Ooh, that looks good. Very nice. Good yeah, I like a little extra, extra. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So can I do one more? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. All right. I really like chocolate. And of course, I love white chocolate, so I'm gonna just do this one. <laughs> a little extra white chocolate. This one is definitely going to be mine. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've worked so hard and have definitely worked up an appetite, so can we try this? Oh yeah, go okay. for it. Let's try the one that I made. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Julia, I hear that another one of your specialties here at Candy Haven are your corporate baskets. Tell us about that. Yes, we make lots of corporate baskets mm -hmm. and we have many clients. We even have this one repeat client that orders 350 baskets and we send them all over the Metroplex. Wow. Well, that's good. You've got a lot of repeat customers, so obviously they're coming back for more because they love what you offer. We like to start, of course, in the empty baskets, mm -hmm. a pretty relatively big size and you want to make sure that it's stuffed. That's the key to a great basket is mm -hmm. a stuffed basket. Um, and sometimes it's hard to get a whole bunch of things in one basket, so we like to start by putting at yeah. least 50% of the basket filled mm -hmm. with shred. Okay. And that gives it a nice, good base. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, too. It is very pretty. <laughs> you can have any color you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell us everything we need to know to make a beautiful basket. Okay, well, you went to a whole bunch of items. Okay. And you usually start with like the biggest item that you have. Mm -hmm. And then kind of put it in the back. And you want to create like a little hole kind of. Just a little pocket for it to sit in. Yeah, okay. just stick it in. And don't worry about it if it falls or anything. You'll put it in more stuffing and keep it in place. Okay. So let's see. Next biggest thing we have are these pretzels. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can stick these in somewhere. So I guess if you can do this for a corporate client, you could also do it for your friends for holidays and birthdays and those sorts of things. Yes, mm -hmm. Christmas, Valentine's, birthdays, mm -hmm. always a good idea. Baskets yeah. are great for those occasions. We just want to make sure that everything's pretty stable and it gives it such a fuller, big look when um, everything's just like stuffed. So what's the strangest basket request that you've gotten? One time we had someone come in and ask us to put a diamond ring <laughs> in his basket because he wanted to propose to his girlfriend. So did she say yes? I think she did. It was the sweetest basket she's ever gotten. <laughs> well, I know you've got a lot of different things here, but you have so much more here at Candy Haven, I saw. Lots of jelly beans and coffee, so you can really tailor the basket to the specific needs of your clients. Yeah, we have it all right here. We have cookies and candy and coffee and all the chocolates and, of course, cakes. So after you folks complete a basket like this, what's the next step? We can um, wrap it up and um, arrange for delivery all across the Metroplex. Um, we can even customize the wrapping if you want to with like logos, company logos, mm -hmm. things like that. So a company can put their logo on the cellophane? Yes. It's really we, neat. Yes, we can do that. Well, Julia, thanks so much for having us out and giving us just a tasty tidbit of all you offer here at Candy Haven. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for coming. Mention Home and Lifestyle TV while placing your order and get a luscious double dip strawberry. Compliments of Candy Haven. 
to contact Candy Haven, call 940-565-1474 or visit candyhavenandcakes.com.